how sophisticated is, is the electronics or the computer in a tag? Is it fairly simple or is it quite advanced piece of kit? So it can be quite advanced. Um, the issue is it has to be very well um, set up to be as efficient as possible because we don't want to drain the battery because the battery is the heaviest part of the tag and we don't want to have to put a huge battery on the animal. Um, Hmm. And then the the size of the messages. So in the example of the Southern Elephant Seals, um, that is messages of, I think it's less less than 100 bytes or maybe 128 bytes. And so we will compress down from that. On those tags, um, the nice thing we were doing in that project, um, which in this project we are concentrated on just understanding diving behavior and um, movement. In the project in the, in the Southern Elephant Seals, we were looking, um, we wanted to know a bit more about how they forage and if we could get more information from tag, tags. So we were kind of doing a pilot study on a new type of tag. Mm-hmm. And in this scenario, they had accelerometers on them. So um, the accelerometers will measure along three axes. You have your X, Y, Z axes. Mm-hmm. You'll get acceleration. And from that, we can start to say, okay, how much um, effort is the animal using to swim? So we mm-hmm. can calculate how often it's, um, it's moving its flippers. And we can also wow. calculate um, when it moves its head to catch prey we can identify a prey catch attempt is what we call it. So we don't know if it managed to catch prey, but we know that it made a jerky movement with its head. And so the, those tags have, um, they're sophisticated enough that we can filter the accelerometer data, identify the prey catch attempts rates, and then note them down. So we'll split the dive into five segments and we'll say, okay, there were 10 attempts in that segment, no attempts in that segment. And then we transmit that data back. So wow. tags are quite impressive. 